What's up guys? So you saw the title of the video. This is the 4K Blu-ray reviews of all of Christopher Nolan's collection minus one and I still can't find it. It is prestige. Now I'm ranking these least to greatest. I love all these movies. I have to tell you the truth. I really do a lot. So I'm not ranking these of how good each movie is. I'm ranking them how like the quality is the best. And most of these video or most of these movies look incredible anyways. But let's kick it off. There's seven movies total that I have from the, uh, the Nolan collection. Let's start off with number seven, Inception. Now the reason why I say this is the rest of these films in the pile have on par fucking picture quality the thing the sound really is good in this and the picture quality is good for what you get with the 2.34 aspect ratio however nolan did not put this film or remaster which i was really really disappointed in in the imax sequences now in the film or in the theaters you had imax sequences and i didn't get to see this film in theaters i got it on blu-ray like in 2010 so i missed out the opportunity but the thing is they had IMAX sequences, which I was really disappointed with this 4K transfer that he didn't include them in. It was really surprising. But guys, you know my thoughts on the movie. The, I'm, but overall, for a 2.34 aspect ratio, the film still looks really good. So it is an overall really good film, but it's just not on par with what we have to come in Nolan's collection. Coming in at number six. Batman Begins. Now, Batman Begins also suffers from not having IMAX sequences because he didn't, Nolan never shot films like Batman Begins yet in 05 in IMAX. So we have obviously the 2.34 aspect ratio. Overall, though, the sound and the picture quality do look incredible as well. Everything works with this, and also on all these, we have HDR, except I don't think Tenet does. But overall, it looks incredible. It really does, but it just suffers from not getting those full screen IMAX like Nolan feel from at home theater. All right, coming in at number five, Dunkirk. Now Dunkirk has been shot, I believe it is either 75 or 90% in IMAX. So you're going to get the full screen, no black bars. You might have them in a very couple scenes, but overall full screen, you're going to have fucking badass sound bass and that with the dogfight scenes. Overall, this film is incredible to watch on 4K. It really is. The picture quality is on par. The HDR really fucking shines with the audio, the sound. Uh, it's incredible. And the gunfight or the gunshots, really immersive. However, why is this low on my list, actually? The reason why is I don't... Something about this film is not great rewatchability. So, but overall, it does look good when you go to watch it at home. Okay, I lost track of what I was saying. So, I think coming in at number. Oh my fucking. Okay. Coming in at number four, Interstellar. Now, this film actually has less IMAX sequences than Dunkirk. But the reason why I actually put this higher up on the list is it is more, way more of an immersive film of the IMAX sequences. I believe actually the IMAX sequences look incredible on this more than Dunkirk. I really like um, when they're up in space. I really like the cornfield chase and that. The IMAX really shines with the HDR. The, those sequences, it's always a pleasure to have full fucking screen. I'm not going to lie. I, As much as I like black bars on top and bottom, I like, I would prefer the full screen. That's why I'm actually excited what Zack Snyder's doing with the restoration of Batman vs. Superman, giving us the black bars on the sides this time and getting more of the picture up and down. Hopefully I like it. I've seen it with uh, Lighthouse, so let's see if I can get immersed into it. I really hope I can, but overall in Interstellar, the sound quality is incredible, but it does, this is when Nolan starts to suffer from, um, he prefers loudness over dialogue especially in this film it shines in and a little bit in dark knight rises and we know the biggest film it does but overall guys a really good 4k transfer better than dunkirk a lot better actually in my opinion and i love it it looks the oh the black the wormhole the black hole or fucking the space sequences oh my god they look incredible they really do on 4k coming in at number three the dark knight oh this fucking movie was shot in imax as well less scenes but Guys, the picture quality is incredible. The score, the fucking, I, the sound audio is, oh, it's booming. It, it attacks my subwoofer with the Joker fucking theme. Overall, the action sequences really pop and are on par with what they should be for a 4K HDR restoration. I think they nailed this out of the park for rest, um, remastering this in the 4K. I'm actually really happy with this transfer a lot. That's why it's number three on my list. 
Coming in at number two is actually relatively one of the new additions. It is Tenet. Now, Tenet does not, I believe, have no HDR. I, I'm, I don't think it does. I, I think this is one of the 4K movies. Oh, it's upside down. I believe it. Yeah, I think this is one of the only Nolan's movies that didn't get HDR, which is kind of surprising and a little disappointing. But overall, guys, this film is 99.9% .9 shot in IMAX. So you're going to get the bad... This film looks incredible on your TV, on 4K. It looks incredible. The action sequences pop. Everything works. I got to see this film in theaters, not in IMAX, but when I got home, it reminded me exactly how I saw it in theaters. But I'm going to be honest with you. In theaters, yeah, I had a problem understanding people or what the dialogue was saying in the film. However, when I got at home and watched it, I have to give this film a lot more credit. I had no problem. I could understand what they were saying. There's that one scene, and you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the Freeport scene with Robert Pattinson and it blasts. Yes, that is the only scene out of the whole film that I could not hear. But overall, the rest, I could understand the dialogue. And I'm really starting to actually understand this movie a lot better. But action scenes, picture quality looks even better. Even with the film, or even with the scenes that weren't filmed in IMAX, you get more of the picture instead from up in top and bottom. I don't know what he shot. I think it was 75 or 55 millimeter he got those scenes in. And it's not your 2.34 aspect ratio for those either. So I really have to say, this is a really good 4K transfer and it looks really good. It is a good movie to just watch at home. It looks incredible on a 4K TV. Coming in at number one, guys. Now, this film on Blu-ray was not good. The, the, um, the picture quality did not get on Blu-ray, did not look that well. The, I, the reason why I say that is... The faces looked a little bit more orangey in that, but the film is The Fucking Dark Knight Rises. Now, like I said, uh, Nolan had a little problem with this film. I will not lie with the sound mixing for uh, Bane's voice. However, they fixed a lot of it from releasing that prologue scene, if you got to see it in theaters. But um, now... I mean, there there are still some scenes that I can't understand sometimes what Bane's saying. Oh, give it back to the people. <laughs> but overall, guys, this is actually my favorite Nolan 4K Blu-ray transfer. I think it's, it is incredible. Um, I don't know how to put it, but the IMAX sequences with the plane, the fucking... The, oh my god, my favorite scene in the movie just to watch in IMAX or the full screen is the um sewer fight with bane and batman the first fight and it looks fucking gorgeous it looks right the black levels are right the hgr really takes advantage of it um everything looks good they fix the skin tones that's what i wish i had um i wish i could show you guys comparison but they fix the skin tones to more of a natural look and i just have to say guys i think out of them all this is the best fucking 4k transfer i think the dark knight rise love or hate the movie i really think this is a strong incredible 4k remaster well that's it for all these i wish i'm trying to get prestige real soon i cannot wait haven't seen that movie in a bit and obviously insomnia and memento are out on 4k i really hope memento gets a 4k um release soon but guys let me know your thoughts do you believe and do you agree with my list i really hope you do but if you don't let me know what you guys like better and um yeah we'll look forward to a lot more of these blu-ray reviews coming soon but thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one